Hey everyone, thanks for being here. Welcome back to the Monday Motivation Podcast. No more excuses. I am your host, Sandy Ballard, the badass business coach. As always, I appreciate you being here for listening and for watching because it's now on video as well and for sharing this podcast with others. And I was reminded, I don't talk about this much, but I was reminded to mention that I am a DISC certified business coach, which means I am obsessed with personality and communication styles, and I am a specialist in that field. So if that intrigues you, contact me. I'd love to send you the link for the, the DISC assessment and talk you through it and see how you can use your results for the greater good, right? Well, again, thanks for being here. And, and you know, running a business, it's hard work, but it doesn't have to suck. No, it doesn't. I've been doing this. I've been an entrepreneur. I've been running multiple businesses for for 29 years. It's It's been stressful. It's hard, you know, but we make it hard. We make life hard, not our business, right? You know, and with that, you know, it's excuses, just like this podcast. No more excuses, right? There's no more excuses for you to make things hard. You know, if you're not excited about your job or your business, what's going on? You know, and yes, you can have fun. But if you would tell me, any anybody that comes to me and says, you know, I want to run a business and I think it's going to be fun. Ooh, no, no, that is not the first way to start a business. There is a difference between having fun and thinking it's going to be fun. You know, think about it. Rate your business on a scale from one to 10. Obviously, one meaning it sucks. You groan when you get up out, out of bed in the morning, having to do it all over again. And 10 means you jump out of bed in the morning, ready to do it all over again. You're excited about the day. You know, whether money's flowing in or, you know, there's few challenges. Life is good. You want to you wanna get ready and do it all over, right? You know, so so what is it that you need to succeed? What is it that you need to be happy? You know, so rate your business. You can always email me, sandy at sandyballard.com. Remember, Sandy with an I. Or post in the comment section, where are you with your business? Where are you with your life? How do you feel overall? You know, what? like I said, what is it that you need to be happy? What do you need to feel successful? You know, more time, more money, more education, more of you. How many times have we said, if I only had three of me, right? You know, but what do you need to be happy with your life? More time, more money, more education, more of you, right? It's it's kind of goes hand in hand and success and happiness. People think go hand in hand or so it seems. People tend to say, and maybe you have said, I'll be happy if or when. You know, when you make more money, when you have a successful business, when you have more time to do fun shit, right? You know, don't we all want that first? Don't we all want that to be happy? Well, you know, I'm not sure if you've heard, you know, to be grateful at this moment, to be grateful in the now. And, you know, I understand that being grateful when you aren't where you want it to be or thought you'd be by now, that can be hard as hell to, to stand there and be like, yeah, Sandy, I'm grateful when I'm struggling to pay the bills or I'm struggling to get new clients or I'm struggling to keep clients or I'm struggling to keep staff or I can't, I can't, I can't, right? Or I don't have. You know, I read somewhere um, years ago, I don't even know where this came from. Uh, it's just popped in my head when I was recording this, that something fun and positive to do when you're writing a check to pay a bill, I know just hang it in there for a second. Some of us that are listening have written checks <laughs> over our lifetime. You know, so when you write a check to pay a bill in the memo line, but thank you, or, you know, have a great day, something fun and positive. You know, and I know many of us don't use checks to pay bills anymore, but I actually did that for a while, you know, until I stopped using checks really. It was actually kind of fun. I didn't do it all the time, but I yeah, did it when I thought about it, getting in the habit of doing that. And I'm like, what's the person that's processing this going to think when they see a smiley face or a, a thank you? You know, it definitely did change my perspective on paying the bills. Yeah, 
even if it was a tax bill or something, you know, so I don't know, is there a memo section when you're paying a bill online? If so, try it out. I'll just look and see. I've not thought about it because most of my payments are automated. So that might be something I can go and look into. And I'm going to challenge you to do that as well. You know, so I want to pass that little, little challenge off to you. But thank you. Or, you know, if you do still write checks. Occasionally, I do still write a check. I did the other day because the company I was at, their, their credit card processing was down. So I just went back with a check. It was sort of strange, but, you know, it happens. So if you do write checks or if you're paying something online, it has a little memo section. I'm going to challenge you to put something fun and positive in there, like thank you or a smiley face or have a great day or keep smiling, something fun. I'm going to challenge you to do that. And I want to hear about that. And then, you know, every quarter, at least every quarter, I ask my clients, what are you grateful for? And not just the ones that are having challenges, but especially the ones that are having challenges, you know, or growth issues or aren't where they thought they'd be. You know, it always makes them pause and think, and I want you to do this the same. You know, it helps you shift your mindset from, you know, focusing on the shit storm or what you don't have, you know, you don't have yet, you know, to, okay, I have this, I have some awesome things in my life, you know, and I'm grateful for them. You know, the weather out here, I don't know where you are, but the weather out here in California has been wacky. You know, we'd have a, a, a tons of rain and tons of snow up in the mountains. And then lately it's been super foggy. But in the middle of that, we had some really amazing, beautiful blue sky days. And when I was out on my run and I'd stop at my think thank pad that I've talked about, I would smile, take a few deep breaths, listen to those waves and say, thank you. Thank you for the beautiful weather today. You know, it seems silly, but yeah, you know, most Californians that I know that we've met, well, we've, since we've lived here are just unbelievably depressed and just uh, pissed about this weather, the winter weather. And now the spring has started with, ugh, you know, it's not really warm. And, you know, so those days where it's a beautiful day, no matter where you are in the world, take a moment and just say, thank you. You know, I'm super grateful for this day today. I'm super grateful for this person that's in my life. You know, what are you grateful for? Think about it. Please share in the comments or email me again, sandy at sandyballard.com. You know, what are you grateful for? You know, what do you need to be happy and, and succeed? You know, especially if you aren't where you hoped you'd be. You know, if you're not, please schedule your 30 minute free session with me. You can always comment where you are, email me or go to my website, badassbusiness.coach and click on the button. There's a, a option for a 30 minute free call. And if you're ready to jump in and level up even bigger, go ahead, schedule a longer call, do it, invest in you, right? You know, but I'd love to just check in with you and see, you know, what are you grateful for? What do you feel you need to succeed and to be happy in your life? You know, I'm a business coach, but life is what gets in the way of success, growth, because it's all in our, our head and we get in our own way. So if we're not in a grateful spot, it can be hard to, to get there. It can be hard to see the forest through the trees, right? And, you know, when I work with my clients, my goal is to have them live a help, happy, healthy life while having a happy, healthy, successful, profitable business or career, right? You know, and to think of most, well, a lot of people also talk about balance. Well, balance is bullshit and it's relative to what you do, you know, what's your job or your business and what's your personal life like? You know, if you have kids, don't have kids, have a significant other, don't have significant other. Where do you live? Do you have to drive traffic? I mean, what's going on? What's balance to you? Balance should be that you're happy in both areas of your world, you know, whether you're at home or whether you're at your office or wherever your office is. I have a friend that basically he's either at home or he's traveling. His office is on the road. So that could be you too. You know, remember, you do not need to be hiring a coach to be failing 
or to be, you do not need to be failing to hire a coach. Let me get that right. You do not need to be failing to uh, hire a coach. You know, you don't need to be in the middle of a crisis to hire a coach. Many times it's easier to start when things are good or you just, or maybe plateaued a little bit and you want to get things going, you know, because when shit goes sideways, you have that support system in, in place, right? So again, shifting your mindset. Tell me, what are you grateful for? What do you feel you need to succeed? Oh, and what's your, rate your health, rate your business health, rate, rate your life, one to 10. You got three things. What are you grateful for? What do you feel you need to succeed and be happy? And what's your score on your business and life? Email me, sandy at sandyballard.com or share in the comment section because I look forward to hearing from you. And please, I wish you what I wish you all a grateful, grateful week. I look forward to hearing from you. Cheers.